what's going on today guys we're doing a review video of the antipodal hindsight um i got a snapshot up on the screen mine comes with a uh, glass half full and rangefinder um it already had a really really good stability for the most part for an auto rifle i've gotten a lot of these weapons um <laughs> literally all of them have been absolute shit the vendor roll is absolute shit i don't know what's wrong with this game why they deem certain weapons we're going to give you a god roll like the hawk saw and then other weapons it's like they forget about it's like why they even put them in there um i don't know how many kills i got with the actual weapon over actual grenades but i know i did kill a decent amount of people even even that guy i somehow trade killed with him um got a trade kill um after the glass half full kicked in um had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, um, it was a definite big change from Mida. I was getting really, really used to using a scout rifle and uh, changing it up using an auto rifle and then trying to figure out its range and, and just how it fired. It's pretty damn stable. It's a fun gun. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly how many kills I got with it um, in this thing. I didn't count them out. I wasn't going that far. But I would say overall, if you can get a good roll, it's as good as, as, as any middle tier uh, auto rifle it's not a super fast firing uh, doctrine nor is it a a super slow firing um, more like Suros type it's kind of right in the middle it's kind of like a red death um, sort of but uh, I would say I think it actually has a little bit higher impact um, not red death red specter sorry um, a little bit higher impact Overall, I didn't have any complaints. Um, I've gotten a lot of them, and they just don't cut it. They don't have fast enough time to kill. Um, with glass half full, I'd say it's pretty good, although I wasn't actually using glass half full 90% of the time when I did use the weapon. Um, just because I have a the habit to reload, because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so yeah, mine never really kicked in, um, and it's only a 26 round mag, so when you get to 12, you kind of don't want a chance you know not having enough rounds to get the job done so you you literally just kind of you want to reload just to make sure you have enough um so that's what i constantly did and really didn't use it um eventually you'll see me i kind of start um <laughs> taking the weapon and uh firing off about five or six rounds before i actually go in and into a gunfight um but Overall, I would say it, it, it definitely did not become a become habit. Uh, ended up doing pretty pretty good with this weapon. Um, it has great cleanup speed. I would say if you can get your hands on one that has good rolls, give it a spin. It's nice to change it up. I had a lot of fun wrecking with Mida. Had fun wrecking with my hung jury, um, changing things up. But it was nice to just get a fresh thing with just some random weapons. In a video that I'm going to upload in the, in a couple days. Um, I changed weapon three times in the game, and one of them is this. Um, it's probably going to be in my next video. I already have videos that I was going to set up as my next videos. Look at that dodging that golden gun there. Loving it. Um, I had videos that were going to be my next videos. Um, already set up that I recorded yesterday. And they were like the last videos that I have recorded of Iron Banner for my Warlock. Although, I recorded some gameplay with the uh, wife using this weapon um, today where, where I recorded. And uh, changed weapon three times between this, Nerwin's Mercy, and uh, Grass of Malak. And Grass of Malak was just not doing it for me at range. I don't know why. And then Nerwin's Mercy just seems so sluggish when you switch from a high rate of fire weapon to a um mid-tier to low rate of fire weapon um but nevertheless um i would get back on track to this weapon uh you'll see that here uh probably tomorrow um with this weapon i would say just give it a give it a try if you can i don't know how i lived through that i, I don't know how I, I'm, I'm distracted i don't know how i lived through that don't mind me that usually never happens i never usually get to live through anything um <laughs> But yeah, if you can get a good roll, try it out. Don't just count it out and delete it before you actually give it a roll or give it a spin in, in the Crucible because it's always nice to change things up and it's always nice to have a fresh uh, feel. And getting to learn something instead of expert, being an expert at it is half the fun in this game. If you're just an expert and you only use one weapon, like the people that only use the last word, it really takes away from what the game could be. and and your true potential at 
at being a really, really good player. Um, I don't think you're really a good player if you only know one weapon type. I think you're a, a decent player and you can be really good with that weapon, but I love the people that can change it up, they can play all the different classes and then they can go they can go hard on them all. They can change it up and they can play all the different um, all the different weapon types, whether it be a pulse rifle, a hand cannon, whatever it may be, and, and do awesome. And and that to me is respectable. Um, being, being able to use one weapon and one weapon only isn't. Um, yeah. So the range, the the perks you want to look for on this are, I would suggest range finder because usually the range is pretty shit. Um, if you can get one with counterbalance or some kind of stability upgrade, that is always welcomed. Um, glass half full is a okay perk but you have to remember to not reload um and seeing it takes about half the mag to kill someone especially if you're not getting landing all headshots um it, it's kind of hard to do you know you should be that person that constantly reloads that was a beast ass grenade <laughs> you should be that person that reloads often and then um and doesn't think about it this dude killed me from what seemed like hella far away oh and then mida um, yeah, you should be always that person that reloads. I hate watching YouTubers and you go through and you're like, reload your fucking weapon. You got two fucking rounds in it. Reload. Reload. Ah, oh, you're dead. Because they go around the corner and they shoot, um, twice and their, their mag is empty. But yeah, there you go. You see me, uh, um, uh, popping a couple rounds off, um, trying to, trying to let it down so it would activate sooner with the glass half full. That was kind of the goal there. I wanted to... I wanted it to activate just a little bit sooner um, than it was before because usually I would get down and I would get to 12, 13 kills before it um, before it actually activated and then I would have to reload. So all in all, like I said, go out there, have fun, try some new stuff, and uh, and see how it goes. Um, you know, worst comes to worst, you try it a couple times, you don't like it, and you, you go back to your old ways of your Mida, your last word, your doctrine or passing, whatever fucking decently op weapon there is in the game um but it never hurts to try and just go have fun with something new taking this guy head on I, you know i had no idea if i was gonna win or lose um but in the end came out with that 1v1 and and appreciated the weapon even more um so with that um i would say that I, you know i got a decent amount of kills in this with this weapon and an overall good score so if you can go in there and know what weapon you're using the distance range and able to gauge, gauge it and not get too close to people but not be too far away to where you're you're hurting its effective range and you're having damage fall off then you're gonna do good so go out there have fun get some new weapons and uh yeah until next time deathstroke out hope you enjoyed the review um i know it's not a typical review but uh you know we're gonna we're gonna work into how we're gonna do things with those um, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you at all, if it kind of made you want to try a new weapon or a new type of something, um, please uh, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're going to do these more often with a couple different weapons that I have in mind. Um, yeah, until next time, Deathstroke out.